An Israeli cabinet minister accused Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's coalition of failing miserably amid the Gaza war on May 29, prompting a rebuke from Mr Netanyahu's Likud party as political divisions deepen. Knesset member Gordy Eisenkot, an observer in the war cabinet, said Mr Netanyahu had failed on security and the economy and called for elections by year's end. Speaking at a conference, the former military chief, whose youngest son was killed in combat in the Gaza Strip in December, said Mr Netanyahu was misleading citizens with slogans of total victory against Hamas instead of being truthful about the complexity of the Gaza war. Now in its eight month. Anyone who says that we'll disband a few battalions in Rafa and then return the hostages is sowing a false illusion, he said. It will take three to five years to stabilize Gaza and then many more years to build an alternative to Hamas. He said Mr Netanyahu had failed to meet his top 2022 campaign promises, including stopping Iran's nuclear program, formalizing diplomatic ties with Saudi Arabia and strengthening the economy. Israel launched an air and ground offensive in Gaza in October 2023, vowing to destroy the Palestinian Islamist militant group Hamas. However, experts have doubted whether that is possible. In a statement on Telegram, the Likud party said Mr Eisenkot and Israeli war cabinet minister Benny Gantz, Mr Netanyahu's main challenger, were looking for excuses to quit the coalition at the height of the war. Instead of pursuing victory, they are engaging in petty politics, Likud said. The May 29th exchange was the latest spat in the coalition, raising questions about how long Israel's wartime government could survive as Mr Netanyahu straddles conflicting demands from coalition members and faces global scrutiny over Israel's war conduct, including from top ally, the United States. More than 36,000 Palestinians have been killed in Israel's assault on Gaza, the blockaded enclave's health ministry said, with thousands more trapped under rubble. Earlier in May, Gantz threatened to withdraw his centre-right party from the Conservative Prime Minister's broadened emergency coalition by June 8 if Netanyahu did not offer clarity on post-war plans for Gaza. Mr Gantz has helped broaden support for the government in Israel and abroad, but if he quits, the Prime Minister would still command a majority in Parliament with the backing of ultranationalist parties, who angered Washington even before the war and have since called Gaza to be annexed and settled. Most of its 2.3 million population has been displaced and is experiencing a humanitarian catastrophe as aid organizations report of widespread malnutrition and a collapsed health system. The war began after Hamas-led fighters attacked southern Israeli communities on October 7, calling for an end to Israel's occupation, killing around 1,200 people and seizing more than 250 hostages, according to Israeli tallies.